Hi guys, welcome to this episode of the Did You Know series with me, Amish. आज हम बात करेंगे चूहों की नो आई एम नॉट जोकिंग दिस इज अबाउट एन एक्सपेरिमेंट एन एक्चुअल एक्सपेरिमेंट कॉल द यूनिवर्स 25, फाइव द माउस यूटोपिया दैट बिकेम अ वार्निंग फॉर ह्यूमैनिटी वॉच Today I want to take you on a journey into one of the most unsettling experiments in scientific history an experiment that began as a paradise for mice but ended as a cautionary tale for all of humanity let's start right at the very beginning always a good place to start John B Calhoun was an American ethologist and behavioral researcher now an ethologist i'm sure you guys are wondering what that is an ethologist is a scientist who studies the behavior of animals particularly in their natural environments in the 1950s and 60s he became fascinated by the effects of population density on social behavior his early experiments with rats showed that overcrowding could lead to aggression withdrawal and social breakdown but it was his work with mice culminating in the famous universe 25 experiment that truly captured the world's attention calhoun coined the term behavioral sink to describe the collapse in behavior that he observed in his crowded animal colonies he wondered could the same thing happen to humans now imagine this a large meticulously designed enclosure stocked with everything that a mouse could ever want unlimited food fresh water nesting materials and protection from predators this was universe 25 a utopia for mice calhoun introduced four pairs of healthy mice into this paradise with no threats and endless resources the population began to grow obviously very rapidly for the first few months it looked like the perfect society but calhoun observed that the colony's life cycle could be divided into four distinct phases the strive phase at first the mice explored and then established territories and then began to reproduce social structures were simple and everyone seemed content it truly was a utopia at that point and then the second phase the exploit phase as the population grew social hierarchies emerged dominant males claimed prime territory subordinate mice were pushed to the edges still the colony continued to thrive and then came the third phase the stagnation phase when the population reached about 600 things began to change the enclosure was far from full but social stress increased males stopped defending their territory females became aggressive or withdrawn often neglecting their young a new class of beautiful mice appeared males who neither fought nor mated spending their days grooming and eating trying to look good but never really engaging with others then the fourth phase the death phase reproduction ceased the young died almost immediately social bonds broke down completely even with abundant resources there was enough food the mice lost the will to live Calhoun called this the first death the loss of purpose eventually the last mouse died and the utopia became a graveyard some of the most disturbing behaviors included mothers abandoning or attacking their own babies cannibalism and aimless wandering the beautiful mice were physically perfect but emotionally empty never fighting never mating never connecting with other mice it's a haunting image a society with everything but nothing to live for so what does this mean for us calhoun's findings have echoed through urban sociology psychology and even popular culture in today's world 
Many of us live in crowded cities, surrounded by millions, apparently having everything, and yet feeling increasingly isolated. Despite being more connected digitally, studies show that urban populations often report higher rates of loneliness and anxiety. When roles in society become unclear or meaningless, people can lose their sense of identity, much like the beautiful mice. Rising rates of depression and anxiety in modern societies may be a symptom of this loss of social connection and purpose. Of course, not everyone agrees with Calhoun's conclusions. Some scientists argue that mice are not humans, obviously, and that we have far greater capacity for adaptation, creativity, and community. Others point out that the artificial environment of Universe 25 lacked the complexity and opportunity for meaning that real societies provide. However, even critics agree that the experiment raises important questions about the psychological impact of overcrowding, the need for meaningful roles, and the dangers of social fragmentation. As someone who loves spirituality and history, I see echoes of Universe 25 in ancient stories. In Indian epics, societies that lose their sense of dharma, their purpose and duty, inevitably decline. In the Mahabharat, for example, the loss of moral direction leads to chaos and destruction. But these stories also remind us that humans are resilient. We have the power to reflect, to adapt and to rebuild. Let me ask you, have you ever felt alone in a crowd? What gives your life meaning? How do you find connection and purpose in today's fast-paced world? Reflect on these questions and share your thoughts with me in the comments below. Your experiences matter and your opinions matter too. The lesson of Universe 25 is not that doom is inevitable, but that we must nurture more than just our material needs. We need a sense of community, we need purpose, we need compassion. Build real connections, reach out to friends, your family, your neighbours. Find meaning, engage in work or activities that give you a sense of purpose. Remember to support each other. Remember that we are social beings. Our strength lies in our bonds. Universe 25 isn't just a story about mice. It's a mirror for us, for all of us. In our pursuit of progress, of endless progress, let's not forget the importance of meaning, connection and kindness. Thank you for joining me on this episode of the Did You Know series. If you found today's episode thought-provoking, please share it with friends and subscribe and like uh, with the clicking the button below and send me your questions or stories, anything that you would like us to cover as well. Let's keep this conversation going. Until next time, remember, sometimes the greatest lessons come from the smallest creatures, even the chuhas. Lastly, perhaps some of you would be thinking that this Universe 25 experiment Sounds too bizarre and is it real? Well, we have put references in the comments to convince you otherwise. Check them out. Bye.